Hey everyone, welcome back to another Painting with Jay. As always, my name is Jay. So grab a brush, grab some models, grab some paints, and paint along with me. Let's rid our world of unpainted models, shall we? Yes! As always, huge shout out to Cody Rue and Adam. You missed a spot. Today I'm going to be working on some Tyranids. As I mentioned my painting challenge, it's all about the Tyranids. I've actually been having a crazy time painting Tyranids for the last like week and a half, and I've gotten pretty far. I think I should be able to get these guys done by the end of the month. That's my goal. I still have another two weeks. We'll see. Maybe I'm biting off more than I can chew, but I'll show you my progress today in this video. And so today I'm going to be painting some uh, tick marks on my uh, <clears throat> on my Tyranids and finishing up all the ticking uh, on the armor. And then after that, I don't, well, I don't think I'm going to get that far today. But if I do finish that up, I'll start painting the eyes and the tongues. And as you're going to see, I'm painting, I'm basically batch painting 81 models. Let's keep going. So let's get started on this week's painting with Jay. Yes. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. As always, I'm working on some Tyranids. Look at this. This is what they look like so far. So, just to show you, I'm well on my way to finishing up my Tyranid army. There's my Hormigons. They look pretty good. I'm just going to adjust the lighting here because it's a little dark. There we go. So yeah, look at that. There's my Hormigant. Cool. They're on their way. I have my gene stealers, which are, you know, on their way too. Once I paint the eyes and the, the claws and the tongue, they're really breathing these guys to life. I'm not doing the ticking on them. My gaunts. Cool. I've even gotten pretty far on my hive tyrant. You know, got a sword done. That's good. My Screamer Killer, which I'm really excited about to use him on the tabletop. As you see, I've actually been making progress. So today, of course, I'm going to work on the ticking, as I mentioned, on the armor. That's going to be the video. It might be just an hour of Jay doing ticking. And if that's the case, I don't really know what I'm going to name this video. It might be Ticking Time Bomb or something. But that's okay. I'm just going to paint some tick marks and go from there. I've been painting for about a week and a half now, and I, as you can see, I've actually made some decent progress. To the point where I am pretty confident, it's not 100%, but because the basing's going to take a while, but I think I can get these guys done by the end of the month, which is cool. Now, I still have three, um, I have three more Tyranny models to, to kind of work on after this, just old models that are painted, I'm going to fix them up. So, that'll be cool. Um, it'll give me something to do for a few weeks. But that way it'll still get me done before Adepticon. Hmm. I don't know why, but I put my water way over there. There we go. One down. So as you can see, I'm just working on my, these are uh, Neurogaunts. Cool models. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna paint and talk about life. And keep going. Those are a little too large of tick marks that I, it's larger than I prefer, but whatever. Yeah. So it's been a while. It's been a few weeks. Longer than I anticipated. Well, I had to build the models, and then when I got started painting, I just started going crazy on it. And I should have done a painting with Jay. I really should have last week. Regretted not doing that. You're my painting buddies. I don't want to paint without you. That is very true. Um, so, yeah. Hope life in internet land is going well for y'all. That you're reading a world of unpainted models. I am. If I can get these 81 models done this month, that would put me at negative 66 models to date for the year. 
and would bring me right back on track for my painting challenge, the, the model of the day painting challenge. So, But we're in February, man. It's crazy. One down, two down. Um, we're in February. February always goes by really fast for me. You know, it's, um, well, I know it's a short month, but it just, it always goes by so fast, you know? It's like, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. I hope y'all have, have, you know, have spouses have romantic plans. Um, I'm going to take, my wife doesn't know it yet, but I'm going to take her to uh, her favorite restaurant tomorrow. We have late reservations. Uh, just because work-wise, we're both working till like 6 o'clock. So... The, uh, I had to book for like seven. Yeah. But yeah, so it always flies by, right? Because it's like Valentine's Day. And then the week after Valentine's Day here in Canada, uh, depending on which province you're in, it's called Family Day. It's the first, it's the Monday after Valentine's Day. It's Family Day. And so it's a holiday, which is cool. So I have a long weekend coming up. Nice. And melt. Not too not too much is new and exciting. It's winter. It's winter, you know. I I uh I've been trying to get out a little bit more this week. I've really been bad I'm trying to get in walking a lot and when I got my kidney stones it really put a just it killed my walking it's really painful to walk and so I didn't walk a lot and then it got really cold as winter does and we got some snow so this week I'm trying to get back onto it doing like eight to ten thousand steps a day which has been good I've been enjoying it you know I do like walking I just put on my music in my ears and walk I really ripped my winter jacket the other day to the point where it wasn't really salvageable. <laughs> I got it caught on on uh, it's just something sharp and it ripped it really bad. So luckily, this is my the best time. I love. I am not a fashionable person. I will admit that from a mile away. And so what I like to do is, when possible, I like to buy clothes on sale or clearance because why pay full price, right? Makes sense. And so uh, winter jackets went on clearance this week, and so I bought a new winter jacket, which is great because I'm still going to use it for like six weeks this year. Winter's still, you know, we're only halfway through winter. So I bought a new one. Now I've had that my old jacket for six years, so I've definitely gotten great use out of it. Um, yeah, so we're good. Atlanta, Canada has been getting buried this winter. I'm not, uh, luckily I'm in a better spot. Out of all the provinces, my, my area has been getting crazy bad. We got a bit of snow, but uh, my friends have gotten some crazy amounts of snow, like feet, feet and feet and feet and feet. One of them got, um, like one area of, of Nova Scotia got almost uh, five and a half feet of snow in three days. 150 centimeters for the metric people. So I've not been that unfortunate. Now I did actually, I broke my, my snowblower um, a few weeks ago. I blew the belt and it turned out I, I actually replaced the previous belt myself and I apparently put on the wrong slightly size, slightly wrong size of belt, which allowed it to blow again. The auger belt, not the drive belt. So this time I just said, screw it. I just had it serviced. I was without a snowblower for about five days, which wasn't bad. I did have to shovel the driveway a few times during that time, but whatever. I just tackled it a few, you know, a few times throughout the day. Didn't allow the snow to build up too much. And went from there. But overall, it's, this winter has been good so far. It's not been the coldest. It's not been the heaviest with snow. It's been a decent winter. 
you know, I'm hoping that we have a decent um, spring and summer coming up. Because last year, it seemed like every weekend, the weather sucked. You know, at least where I lived, it was raining every weekend. Yeah. But, as I said, if I can get the ticking done today, or at least almost done, then the next step is painting the eyes and tongues. And then I'm going to take some time and do the hooves and claws. The hooves and claws. Once I get that done, that'll pretty much finish the 20 hormigons will be done, other than, like, the basing. Um, and... That'll, that's good. And the gene steers will basically be done. And all I've left is like the, the small details like this, these little neuro parts on uh, these guys, the guns on the gaunts. Um, this is not too much detail left for those guys. And that'll finish up. That, like The four squads I just brought up add up to 70 models. No, 60 models. So 60 of my 81 models are these small, like, you know, they're easy to deal with. So that's not bad. Not bad at all, you know? And then the bigger guys, they're not too bad. They're on their way, as I showed you. So, the, like the um, Screamer Killer is almost done. The Hive Tyrant's almost done. The most detail left is on the Psychophage. I don't really know what I'm going to do with the stomach yet. I haven't decided yet. I don't know, I'm going to airbrush it quickly. Because airbrush will be quick, but I just have to mask a lot. Uh, or be very careful. Otherwise, I'm going to just dry brush it. A few successive dry br light dry brushes. Um, that might go really far. So we'll see. It's not a model that's going to see the tabletop a lot, to be honest. Most of these models, uh, some of them aren't. You know, but um, some of them aren't. There was a recent... Um, point change, and of course my favorite thing about the point changes from the uh, Munitorum uh, field manual is Tyranids, uh, the, uh, the Screamer Killer. Some big bugs got some points decreases, so that's awesome. It'll be, uh, it'll be really fun to try them out. Can't wait to try a Nidzilla list coming up. I'm going to try to get into a tournament again. There's another tournament coming up in, a, I think, a month, about a month and a half. No. Um, oh, I can't. Sorry, I can't. That'll be a Depticon. Never mind. Maybe April's tournaments. Maybe we'll bring Nids. Or Dark Angels. Oh, Dark Angels. Cool. So after these two guys, I'm done about 70, I think. 70 of the, uh, of the models for the ticking. So after a week and a half, you know, after how long it took me to do the Dark Angels, this has really been fun. As I said, with Tyranids, you can batch paint because it's the same, like if you do the same thing, it's just the same color over and over and over and over again, right? With Dark Angels, they were several different colors and I could have batch paint, I guess, different, like the same colored on squads, right? Which I did in some cases, but I really broke up my Dark Angels and it took way too long, which it's okay. Like I got them done eventually, but I don't want to take this long with my Tyranids. I want to get them done on the tabletop, get them in games, have some fun, and get to my next painting project. This year, I'm being stupidly ambitious, which is probably not going to work out for me. But I'm trying to rid my world of unpainted models or do a model a day. Whichever one comes first. I've already purchased a Orc Battle Force this week. This, not this week. This year. So... I'm, uh, my pile of shame grew for temporarily. But once I get these days down, I'll be right back, you know, I said minus 65 models year to date, which is good. 65 or 60, 66 models year to date. Negative, which is good. It's where I want to be. And then I'm going to keep going. I have my next painting challenge. I think I might save orcs for last. Or wait till at least orcs are done the codex. 
I have some models that can be built in a variety of ways. And I'm, I definitely want to wait and see the codex, to be honest. Of course, we all know that like, if something's good three months later, it just may not be good. But they're done. Neurogons are done. Now I'm going to go to some barb gaunts. I got five barb gaunts to paint. So after this, so five barb gaunts to do the ticking on. Screamer Killer, Hive Tyrant, uh, Flying Tyranid Prime, Psychophage, Von Ryan's Leapers, and the Neuro Tyrant and his little dudes. So, as I said, maybe not in this video. Now oh, we're 14 minutes in. Let's, uh, I think it's in, in uh, focus. The models look really cool. I do like the way they look. I really do like the way that they look. You know, so let's make sure my paint is mixed properly. I was, I'm using a wet palette. Yeah, there should be good. Should be good. But I hope, yeah, all you know, everything's going well in internet land for all of you, and that you're s slowly but surely riddling your world, ridding your world, not riddling, uh, ridding your world of unpainted models. This has a lot of armor, as you can see. So this one, these ones will take some time. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but as I said, I'm excited to have this Tyranid army complete. For the next one, I think my next paint challenge is going to be Necrons. I'm going to put Orcs off until at least after the next Codex. And also, it allows me to just... Orcs are going to be like the grand finale of this painting challenge. Because I um, have so many Orcs. Orcs represent, right now, like, after this, 80-something percent of my pile of shame. So it'd be really fun to just focus on Orcs for, like, five or six months and just paint Orc Boys in grots and do maybe a couple hardcore painting challenges. Like, can I paint a whole squad of, like, 100 Gaunts in a, in a weekend and just have some fun? But after the um, orcs, I'm done. That's what I'm going to save them for last. So I think next will be Necrons or Grey Knights. I have a few Grey Knights left. Not a lot. Not a lot of Grey Knights. And then I will do the other one. And then Gaunts. No, sorry, Gaunts. Orcs. I decided I'm not buying Zonethropes. I think I can have fun. I can have a, compet a semi-competitive army, you know, relative to what Tyranids are, uh, without Zonethropes. They are the best thing in the Codex. Whatever. I'm not buying them. I'm not spending 90 bucks per squad of three. I just don't. Not in, At least not until my pile of shame is dealt with. So that... Yeah, I don't need to spend... Because I, I, I wouldn't just buy just one squad, right? You have to buy like three squads, two or three squads, to make it competitive. So, spending 270 bucks on nine models, that I can have, I have so many points in Tyranids, right? I have, I don't even know, I should do an army exhibition one day. After, after I'm done these Tyranids, I'm going to paint uh, a few, a couple Hive Tyrants, and a uh, I might, uh, years ago I converted, years and years ago, when there wasn't a Turvagon model, I converted a couple Carnifexes to giant Carnifexes that look like Turvagons. And I might unconvert, I unconverted one of them a long time ago. One's down, oh, I just gotta do the whites. And so, I unconverted one of them. And I found the other one recently, 
so I might unconvert that one too, because obviously there are Turbagon models now, so I can't use a Carnifex. They do look cool for Carnifexes in my opinion, but I'd rather just have a, like a, a Carnifex that looks like a Carnifex. So I might unconvert it, uh, use the guns from the Hive Tyrants, and And then that way I can just, um, you know, a couple, um, not the Death Spitters, the uh, Devourers, and get them. And that way I had another competitive Carnifex. You know, it would work. It would work. So we'll see. We'll see. And then the other, uh, the two fly rents that I have have twin link survivors. Because, you know, I bought the kits off from Forge World. Like, I could use some of those fly rents with twin link survivors. Obviously, I used them for years before they got nerfed and removed. So, um, I got some bits that I can use. I'll uh, make them game worthy soon. You know? That kind of annoys me. When GW sells upgrade kits and then takes away the model, the kits. I was, I've been burned by that several times to the point where I'm not, I would never buy. I don't know if I'd ever buy Forge World again, to be honest. I have several models burned. My Dimacaron, or Dimacaron, however it's pronounced, was one of my favorite Tyranid models ever. One of the ones, my favorite ones that I ever painted. Gone. Right? No reason to rope. There's no reason to remove it. Gone. I heard something with the molds. And so that really annoyed me. And then I have a Grey Knight. I bought the... Double auto cannons, I'm pretty sure it was kit. Double auto cannon kits. One down. Um, the double auto cannon kits for my Grey Knights. Yeah, it's twin auto cannons. And of course, those are gone because those aren't, aren't an option. The Codex, our kits for my, my Tyranid, um, Hive Tyrants, and my. Um, oh, that got up to the Feral. Gotta clean it off. I'm drawing too much paint into my paintbrush. Yeah. Um, that kind of annoys me. I'm going to be painting the gun the same dark color that I'm going to be painting the, the other gun, the neuro guns. Because the choice was go lighter or darker. I'm going to use the light blue for the, um, the brains. So I can't um, go light blue on everything. So I figured I'll go dark blue on the guns, which is cool. And it'll look good. But as you can see, once I do the, the talons, the teeth, the claws, the eyes, which aren't going to be a very long step. This ticking is by far, the armor is by far the most trying part of this Tyranid army um, because it's all armor. You know, I think I'm doing the ticking already now for three days, three or four days. I've spent five hour, five or six hours ticking the armor. So cool. Again, I should have been doing these painting with Jays. Yeah. Just doing a little bit before work sometimes, a little bit after work. It adds up. It really does. But if I can get a fully painted, you know, 1,600 points of Tyranids in a month, that's pretty cool. 
that's pretty cool indeed. You know, have a bunch of Necrons, some Green Knights, a whole lot of Orcs. So yeah, it's winter. As I said, not the most eventful uh, time of year. I don't have as many stories. I go for walks. Um... Not much happening. It's mostly just stay inside, paint, watch TV. Of course, I watched the Super Bowl. Uh, that was on the last weekend. Kansas City Chiefs won. Taylor Swift won. Yeah, I was okay with either team, really. I really like McCaffrey, who is the... Uh, the star player of the uh, 49ers. You know, Little, Kittle, and um, he's the running back. And what is this, Kittle? Yep. Yeah. Um, 49ers, of course, to me, the, the guy who should have won MVP of the game was the kicker for uh, the Chiefs. He alone scored 50 something of the 50 something percent of the points like 52 percent of the points was kicks including he kicked a 57 yard uh the so at one point the 49ers broke the record oh, i wrote use the wrong paint after i just loaded my brush um one point the 49ers broke the record because it, it's inside and there's no wind uh it was really easy kicking conditions, right? Like in, in practices, the one kicker for the um, Chiefs was actually hitting 70-yard field goals. And so at one point, the 49ers guy hit a 54-yard field goal, which broke the record for the um, longest field goal in the Super Bowl. And then one quarter later, but is it, I think it's Butker, um, the uh, kicker for the Chiefs beat it by, by a few. It was a 57 yards, I believe. So, it was crazy. Good game, really close. Not very well played. A lot of mistakes. But, hey, football season's over, which gets me closer to baseball. I have never been so disappointed in an offseason for the Jays. So, that's the thing. The Jays really just decided that they apparently were in on some big names. They tried, they failed, and then they're like, okay, we're just going to go see with our team. They're like, but our team didn't win last year. Uh, we'll just rule out the same thing. You know, what's that expression of insanity? Uh, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting a different result. Kind of the situation, to be honest. Yeah, kind of the situation. The Jays are... Whatever, maybe we could do well. Maybe they'll... The thing is about players, though, you can have the same team, but if players play better... Or worse, your team dynamic changes. And obviously players change from year to year. The um, the quality of players, right? Your team can stay the same, but your players can play differently. And I'm just beyond annoyed with this management team. Whatever. They fought Vladimir Guerrero Jr. for his contract weight, uh, for his salary this year. He ended up getting exactly what he wanted, but I think it burned the bridge. I would love to see them extend him, and I don't think it's going to happen, though. He's two years out from free agency, and they've angered him. <sighs> He's our young all-star that we drafted and brought up through the ranks, and I think we're going to lose him. Yeah. Yeah. So, that annoys me. Baseball season's almost here, though. Again, it's like March. As I was saying earlier, I keep getting off track, whatever. February just goes by. Like, it's Valentine's Day, then Family Day. A week later, it is March. March just goes by so fast. I'm oh, sorry, Valentine's. I'm sorry, for, um, Groundhog Day. Another one done. So, just February blows by. It's only slightly shorter this year. It's only it's a twenty nine day leap year month. So, but it just goes by so quickly. And then I'm preparing for Adepticon, and then it's spring. 
you know, then it's spring. Adepticon is, uh, spring happens while Adepticon. So. Yeah, it's crazy. And then, can't wait to start warming up. It's not crazy cold, but it's just going to be nice to go outside a lot more, enjoy the outside. My goal for this year is to continue on my walks and really get a lot of steps in, play golf, paint, enjoy life. I might have, I had my brother visit me last year, and I think I might have my sister, my mother, and my brother come back. Sorry, one of my sisters and my mother who I have not seen in years, to be honest. Um, but they might come visit me, which would be really cool. Can't wait to show them, you know, Atlanta, Canada. It's a fun place. And it comes alive, much like a lot of Canada, but in the, in the summertime, there are just so many things to do in the Maritimes. So, that's going to be fun. My computer just all of a sudden started sounding like it's going to die. I might have to upgrade my computer this year. By upgrade, I mean get a new computer. <coughs> I'm going to save up my YouTube money. A little bit at a time and just go I'm trying to make this computer work as much as I can as long as we can but it's starting to sound pretty evil and I've had it for I've had it for over 10 years I built it back in either 2013 or 2014 so about 10 years at least and so I've had great use out of it I've made countless videos on it I've done a lot so if it dies, so be it. But I'm hoping I can buy a new computer before or build. I haven't decided if I'm going to build a new computer or buy a new computer. Um, I've been out of the game for building computers so long. Oh my goodness! Just I, I watched a video recently of the parts. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. You know, the size of an SD card. Now it's tiny, and. I used to build my computers all the time. Like I built four computers in a row, and I, so I just I built this one and it lasted. It, it's been great. I've had no problems at all. So uh, other than sorry, I replaced the RAM once. I had one stick of RAM that eventually wasn't working, so I replaced it. Now I'm out of white paint. So I did that. But that was years ago, and it's it's lasted since. So again, I can't complain. So if I have to get a new computer this year. So be it. You know, I'm gonna. I've had a great time. Mm -hmm. I'm almost at a hundred videos since getting back. I think I'm about, almost about 90, so another few weeks, and I'll be 100 videos since coming back to making videos, which is awesome. That's a really good feeling. You know, I love it. I've lost a lot of subscribers since coming back, but that's what happens. I put out a video, and I lose people. It sucks, but it happens. I really, 
It's weird not slap chopping these guys. I'm going to be slap chopping my orcs in some ways. I'll be using Kodros paints and speed paints as much as I can. I'm painting them because just save time. I have 200 orcs. So if I can speed paint some Gretchen, that will really save myself some time. Yeah. But uh, this is going to be a good year, I hope. So far, yeah, my brush is curling. Um, I've had a good year so far. We're in the month two. But again, I'm just having fun, making as much as I can out of every day. And enjoying life. Even the cold winter. Yeah, that's a very hard angle to do. Um, what else? Yeah, not a whole lot is new or going on, to be honest. This brush is malfunctioning right now. I don't know what happened all of a sudden, like two clean, cleans ago, this tip is starting to like warp at the end and bend a little, and it's creating some very weird patterns. Hmm. Let's see if I can like, clean it up, fix it. Because that's really weird. Pure's fixed. Nope, there it is. Hmm. Just gonna clean up my brush for a sec. This year I might start cleaning up some of my streaming services though. I'm thinking about it. Canceling some streaming services or cutting down on the cable. I just, I don't watch as much TV anymore. And anything I do watch is usually sports. Um, it's doing it again. What are you doing, brush? I wonder if I can go from a certain angle that prevents it. That's not bad. Just save some money. Because it's so expensive these days, and, and they recently increased the cost of like everything. Um, you know, Netflix got more expensive, Crave got more expensive. My house, we have three of them. We have Netflix, Crave, and Disney. So we're probably gonna eliminate Disney first. I gotta watch. Maybe I'll watch all the Marvel stuff that I've, I've I haven't watched Marvel in a while. But then Loki. Which is okay. Um, so. Low key. Um, the tr for the Super Bowl commercials, I loved the trailer for Deadpool. I think Deadpool 3, or Deadpool and Wolverine, I guess this is going to be called. Hopefully it's good. Um, rumor has it that they tried to kill off Wolverine during the movie. I hope they didn't succeed with that. There was a lot of debate about it. I'm going to trim this, see if I can knock off this tip. Um, so I hope that is not the case. Because calling a movie Wolverine, uh, sorry, Deadpool and Wolverine, you know, Looks good so far. The trailer looks funny. A lot of cameos. I love the fact that he's like, I'm the Marvel Jesus. That was my favorite line from it. Sorry, I'm just cleaning up this brush. I might have done it. Where are we? 38 minutes and not even close to being done this. I'm going to have another day or two of just doing ticking. This is ticking me off. <laughs> it's not bad. It's better. But again, just keep painting. 
you know, if I don't get as much done tonight as I was hoping, that's okay. I'm just going to keep going. I'm reading my world of unpainted models slowly but surely, right? That's the, that's the attitude that we should have. I have a bunch of video ideas. I'm, I've been wanting to make some videos for a while. I just haven't had the time. I'm making some simpler uh, videos right now. But I have a few ideas. So. Let's see if I can ever get to those. However your winter's been going. In Australian people, I guess they're summer. You know, leave comments about how your winter's been going. How your, how's your painting challenge going? Are you reading a world of unpainted models? Do you see yourself eliminating your pile of shame this year? I'm going to try. I'm going to go down swinging. And if not, that's okay. But I'm going to try my best. And, of course, I'm going to put as big of a dent in my pile of shame as possible. If in the end I have 20, 40 more models left at the end of the year, so be it. Right? Because then next year will be a pretty easy year. Um... Yeah, it won't be too hard when you It's doing that thing again. Hmm. That's creating that weird pattern. Let me see, once again, if I can just clean up that bend. Cool. 40 minutes in. I've done the ticking. This step, nope, I did not fix the brush, whatever. Let's keep going. I'm going to give up trying to fix the brush. Um, this ticking takes a lot of time when batch painting 80 models. That's okay. It's going to get done. That way, I'm, I'm trying not to paint to a lower standard than my previous tier in it, so that way they all go together, right? So that's okay. I'm gonna get this stuff done. Now after this, it's gonna be like, ooh, yeah, then it's all downhill from here. It'll be easy. We'll see, maybe I'll get these done by the end of the, the month. If not, I'll come close. Can't wait, I'm gonna do a video at the end of the week, showing my progress. Nothing will be done. But models will be close. Heck, I could probably play with some of these models in a tournament if it happened today. All the whole, you know, several models are three color minimum. It's always weird figuring out like your vacation at the beginning of the year, when you want to take it, and then figuring out all your plans. I always find that weird. I feel like the year is planned before it's even started. You know? Hopefully this year is, I'm not doing too many crazy adventures to be honest. It's a little bit low key. My wife and I decided that we're not going to do like crazy far trips this year. We enjoy the, the Maritimes and just enjoy, you know, the weather. Um, and that way next year maybe we'll go on a vacation, like a trip somewhere. See if this year, go on a trip next year. That'd be good. This brush is getting more messed. The more I use it. Ooh, that's not good. That. 
This side isn't bad. It's just producing a really weird pattern. Maybe I'll keep that white there so I can cut it. Okay, where are my clippers? I can't cut it with a knife. Well, I'll keep it white. Ooh, I think I got it. I finally got it. Yep, good. Fifth time's a charm. Got that one out. Get ticked off. That's going to be the name of this video. Um, yeah, I want to do a tournament or two. Kind of fun. Play a tournament again. Um, there should be some tournaments coming up in the near future. So, I'm really looking forward to Adapticon. Just seeing everyone. Hanging out with people. Eating food. I miss the junk food of the United States all the time. Can't wait. The junk food's going to be fun. Yeah, for sure. And just seeing everyone catching up, seeing some of you all getting back into the work. I love it just always it always refills my cup. Recharges my painting battery. I love being around wargaming and seeing the painters and everything and then bringing that energy back home and working on my projects. Yeah, it's awesome. Makes me feel good. So, can't wait. Always recharges me. Just seeing the wargaming groups. You know, with Ken, you know, I haven't, I haven't flown out of uh, this airport before that I'm playing up this time. Maybe I'll finish up for this guy, this one guy. So I've only completed 15 models this this video. Whatever. Then I'm down to just the big ones, and I'll do those over the next couple nights. Finish them up. After that, oh, it's it's all downhill from here. The ticking, tick tick boom. Reminder, Adam, you missed a spot. Oh, wrong paint. Yeah, I'll finish this guy up, maybe. And then we'll... And shortly, it's been 50 minutes. It goes by so fast, and it's always just nice to sit down to dedicate that time to this awesome hobby. and get some stuff done. And of course, in this particular case, I wasn't focusing on a specific squad, I'm just batch painting, but that's okay. Maybe after the tongues and hooves and the claws are all done, I'll just focus on individual squads then and just knock out a few to make the task seem less crazy. 
you know. All good. These guys go. Get the ticking done. And then looks good. Heck, the tongues and the eyes will only take seconds compared to these. And then hose and this blade are sizing talons. And then the specific details for each model. All right, final set of ticking for this video. Cool. I did, I did fix at least the uh, brush. Hopefully I have more to say next time. This one's been a little quiet, but that's okay. It's winter. Any Canadian or person dealing with winter knows what I mean. Not much happens in the winter. You know? I stay inside. I don't want really to do a whole lot. But it's okay, it's a good time. To, that's why I also want to get my Tyranids done. Because if I can get the Tyranids done in the winter, by the time spring, you know what I mean? It's taking advantage of a downtime. And so that way I can uh, actually enjoy more of spring. You know, use up the time I don't want to go outside other than my walks, paint as much as I can. Nope. Start the year off on a good note. can't believe I've gotten pretty far so far on these Tyranids. And I can't wait to keep going. Maybe one more painting with Jay. If I'm still ticking, doing the ticking in a week, oh, you know something's wrong. Oh, you know that. Cool. And then after this, I just have about 10 big models. So probably about another hour, hour and a half of doing ticking. Tomorrow I'm not painting, of course, because tomorrow's Valentine's Day. I'm spending the time with my wife. And then I will... Um, Paint more than the others. There we go. Let's end. This is good. We're all in here. Looking good. Finish the squad. 
I am loving it. So I'm down to the Hive Tyrant, Tyranid Prime, Screamer Killer, uh, Psychophage, and Neuro Tyrant and Friends, and then the Van Ryan's Leaper, Von Ryan's Leapers, and then I'm done the ticking. And then I'm going to go on to everything else. But that is a huge step in the right direction. So let's end now. So that concludes another Painting with Jay. Thank you so much for painting along with me and running your world of unpainted models. I hope you're having a great winter so far. I hope you're making progress on your painting challenges, much like I am. I'm excited to get the ticking done and then get these Tyranids well on their way in the near future. It's going to be fun. But as I said, I'm predicting in a week from now, I should be much farther along. Two weeks from now, I should hopefully be done. That'd be my goal. If I can get everything done by February 28th or 9th, and then just spend a couple weeks working on my Tyranid, the uh, Hive Tyrants and the Carnifex, I'd be done well before um, Adepticon. So we'll see. But stay tuned for more videos. And as always, a huge thank you to everyone for painting along with me and reading your world of unpainted models. Um, it means so much. It really does. You're, you and I, we, we paint together and we're reading your world. And it's what really matters. So stay tuned for more painting with Jay. I'm going to keep making these videos until I'm done painting models, right? So, tonight's time is Jay saying happy painting with me.